we realized we made a long video. And I mean, that was our first time here, and we were just excited to see everything. Yes. So this it's time, gonna it's gonna be informational, but I hope it's more like finding new things that we didn't see last time. And, and doing our favorites again. Yeah. She's very into this map. Check out this space person. I don't think we're gonna wait and take a photo. We have the time, it's open. It doesn't open for like 10 minutes. But um, we gotta go through security and everything, so we'll get in line. We're gonna get on the first bus tour out there at 9.30 is the first one. Do you feel good? It feels so good. You know, just a casual... Just a casual Sunday at Kennedy Space Center I'm fulfilling all of my five-year-old dreams. This visit was like half a surprise for me and half surprised by Peter because he totally forgot that we had gotten like media tickets through NASA. You can um, actually, I think anyone can just apply and then you put in your social media information and then they say if they will be able to give you tickets or not. And Peter totally forgot that he had done it. And then obviously I didn't know about it because he had just done it. And so this was like such a fun little surprise for the weekend. Bus tour. Time for the bus tour. The bus tour is takes up all multiple hours, so it's always good to come in the first thing and try to get one of the first buses. It brings you out to where the launch pads are and a bunch of the displays out there, which takes time to get out there. There's a tour, and then there's like, like stuff special to see. displays and memorials and stuff out there. So it's like two parts of this place. So you gotta do it early. Ninety-one million dollars each astronaut round trip ticket. Boeing SpaceX says we'll carry four astronauts for the price of two rushes charging. Where the weight room is located, they'll get a Dragon capsule and they'll leave from there to the space station. Their capsule, a Falcon 9, can carry up to seven astronauts, but they're only going to do four uh, to start off with. You probably won't get another chance to take a photo like this for another year or so before they come out of the DAB building. Space Center. Welcome to the Apollo Saturn 5 that Center. Bus tour Our presentation will be even more in a few short moments. It was even more incredible than last time. Last time they were getting ready for a Falcon 9 launch for SpaceX, so you couldn't go around the launch pad 39, 39A. They have one of the 39s. I think there's a space. So 39A, for we stopped for the next 20 years. We weren't able to go around it last time because they were, getting, they were getting ready for the launch. And we went to the 39B, that tower, they just got done being built. When we were here last year, they were building that tower, and now it's out there. Right, but the mover was right there that they used. They took two years to modify to bring that tower out there. And now they're gonna bring it back, in the next couple weeks, they're gonna bring that back into the VBA, VAB, and you're not gonna see it again until the launch happens, the test launch is in over a year. That was so magical. This is the firing room, launch control for the Apollo missions. Mankind is about to leave his planet behind and journey to another. Oh, you know, no big deal, just uh, eating some sandwiches next to the a Saturn V rocket. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Sarah, like, this is, like, a miracle to look at and think about, and to think that this successfully launched numerous times. Look at all those pipes up there, super small, little wires and pipes. If anything went wrong with any of those, the whole thing would, would not go well. We're gonna go on to the memorial for the Apollo 1 mission. And I think, uh, Sarah kind of touched upon it earlier, and it's nice today that it's our second time coming here. We get to do a few things that we missed last time, and then not to do some things that we don't need to do again, or do some things that we'd like to do again and again. <laughs> and like, I felt like we didn't spend enough time in either of the, any three of the three memorials they have here, I felt like we didn't spend enough time in them. 
so I'm excited to like go check out some of this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna skip some of the shows and do more like looking Re around. Looking around and reading. So NASA's done an amazing job making this memorial for the Apollo 1. But just like look at how beautiful this is. This very arm is the one that Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin walked across to go on the Apollo 11 mission. 30 stories up. So when you look down, like, oh look at they've got pictures. Mm -hmm. Of like, that's how it looked. Yeah, that's crazy. But like, what else are they gonna do with it? You know what I mean? Keep so, it forever for us to cherish? I know, it's really nice. Did you ever hear that the moon is made of cheese? <laughs> because... I was just thinking, went to the moon in 1969. It was salad. I uh, I don't remember that. Comment down below if you guys have realized by now, since we've been doing this for over 400 days, that Sarah has an impeccable memory and Peter Brookhart has the opposite of an impeccable memory. That's why I'm here to tell you about your life. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we brought this up during the last vlog, but this is one of my favorite things about all of Kennedy Space Center is this actual like okay. capsule. And it's from the Apollo 14, and as Sarah just said, it's named Kitty Hawk. But like, the burns from re-entry, from space. They've got Falcon Heavy merch. They didn't have that last time. Oh, well, it's the, since our last visit, the Falcon Heavy's actually launched. They don't, I don't think they have that really cool travel mug that here last time with Welcome to our family time. And look at this is so I haven't tried to drink out of this, but it's got a good lip, and it's got an opening here to help get the coffee out. That's my biggest pet peeve. To the right, to the tree there in the background, large dark mass in the tree. That's our eagle's nest. In this week to invest money, bring the space to helping to stimulate demand for space access. We're now in the building. This is my favorite. Where the Atlantis. Space shuttles. Special tours where you could go inside of it. I say, <laughs> Launched as a rocket, flew in orbit as a spacecraft, landed on a runway like a glider. If it wasn't like awe inspiring to see this from the front side, but look at it angled on display on its underside it and all the burns. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, so Four, three, NASA three, said three, hang it at 45 degree angle, and the designer was like, no, do 43.21. But I love how you can see, it's hard to see in the camera, heat streaks from re-entry. And all the different colorations of the heat tiles that they replaced and fixed between the launches to make sure it was safe. Hydroponics over here, like living with the land. The food options here are so delicious, as you can see by the very busy crowds. The salads look the most delicious. We were like sitting there waiting, watching them prepare them. But we just got pop, coffee, and a cookie. Because we already ate. We packed to lunch. And they have a Pepsi Freestyle. So rather than the BBC Lounge, which we're going to tomorrow. Oh my god, I need my sunglasses on, but I don't have a free hand. Um, we didn't go to the astronaut memorial, so we've got like 40 minutes before the next IMAX that we want to see. Help! Uh, my ear, my left ear. <laughs> this is this is love. So here's our cookie. We're gonna eat that Let's and then go to the memorial. 
but this is it's beautiful. It's the huge. The clouds are fucking up. It is crazy. Yeah, I know the show is very well done. And we got a donor wall, so then it shows what missions they were part of. And then just bio, bios on everybody over here, and ways to donate to the Astronaut Memorial Foundation. This is very big and awesome, and those are all backlit letters, but I don't know if you can realize it if you're not a big rocket person. But this is actually, um, I forgot the actual term, but it's on the front side of, this is what the, the boosters from like a rocket shot like pushed against like deflected the flame burnouts from the rocket launch. Oh, cool. Whenever mankind has sought to conquer new frontiers, there have been those who have given their lives for the cause. This astronaut's memorial, dedicated May 9, 1981, is a tribute to the American men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, believing the conquest of space is worth the risk of life. So one thing, Sarah went outside because it's cold in here and she's heating up before we go sit in this IMAX for 45 minutes. But Sarah and I were talking about how cool it is that like private sectors begun taking over low Earth orbit and like moon talking about moon stuff like right here we've got Boeing Starliner over here we have the SpaceX Dragon and over here this is newer that I don't think was here last year we here the Moon Express yeah, this is gonna be the new rocket system for NASA built it's the Space Launch System SLS they'll be able to attach some customizable pieces up there to make it go further or add more people to it and stuff like that so it's gonna be really exciting this is the this is the launcher that we saw, the tower is complete, that we saw out there today that was just being constructed last year. So I don't know date of testing on the SLS, but that's going to be the next big thing for NASA. This is a CubeSat, which I've done a little bit of research on before. They're little small cubes for lots of different things. But they have a Wall-E satellite and then an EVA satellite. Hmm, wonder where they got inspiration for those names. Look at Sarah just sitting on that stoop right there. Getting all warm and toasted. She's the best. I know she loves this stuff, but I love this stuff way more. And this like totally is five-year-old Peter freaking out. So I'm really happy she's uh, out here enjoying it all with me. Just left the IMAX theater. Watched a 45-minute IMAX movie about Earth just to listen to one song. She's <laughs> in it. What was it called? We both took naps during it, and it was called Hello World by Elo Vera Block. We're sneaking into the storm. Oh, the storm comes in. Okay. We're yeah. gonna sneak into this tour and then head out. Look at these clouds. I secretly want to like go drive by Cape Canaveral just to see if there's a Disney Cruise Line boat. We are leaving much earlier than we first budgeted, so maybe uh, maybe we can make something happen. So this is a Gemini spacecraft. This fit two. Too tight for two. Two astronauts, and the one one of the most famous ones was a 14-day mission. This exact same space. We're 14 days to get the strapped in. Sleeping, eating, Sleeping, eating working. The bathroom. Bad news one, it's raining. Bad news two, all the Disney cruise ships that are out to sea. Good news is I found this cool website that shows live feeds of where all the international cruise lines, no matter what company they're from, in real time. I had a fantastic day. I love day. it here. I'm, I'm, I think next time I'm gonna come and do like some of the things, extra things you pay for, like the lunch with an astronaut. But we wanna thank uh, Kennedy Space Center and Delaware North for having us come out here. They they hooked us up with tickets today to come see all the new stuff and just enjoy it again. Yeah. And to share it with all of you guys. So thank you. So we're leaving Kennedy Space Center, but I want to point out that's Blue Origin, that bluish building over there. It's another private manufacturing like space company. Opened up like less than a year ago. I believe it's owned by Jeff Bezos, Amazon guy. You know, that little, little old thing. I want to get in that. I want to I want to see what they're doing. We're home. We had dinner. We're going to decorate for fall and Halloween. And we're going to do it on a live stream. Judy Garland. Oh, she's going on a lot. Yeah. This Judy Garland drawing is famous from our college program. She haunted our college program room. Be careful with Judy. She's not even yours. She is mine. Oh, my gosh. With the lamp below her. She looks even creepier. And then above her. Judy, Judy, Judy. An autograph Judy. by the famous. Adriana Castellano. <laughs> AKA the voice of Snow White. For Halloween. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> All right, so Sarah's actually showing the last tour from the vlog. So she's showing all the pieces. Well, well, I look a mess. 
but a fresh mess because I went on a run tonight. So I don't know what we're gonna do I the rest of the night. Remorse. She has buyer's remorse, but the thing about Sarah Burkhardt is she always has buyer's remorse. But I'm super pumped because she got a, she hooked us up with a bunch of fall fragrance stuff. So, all right, even though we got home late or early, we went on a run early, took a shower early. Sarah fell, Sarah fell asleep early. Eve fell asleep early. Look at her. I am tired. Finished watching Jack Ryan. Any Prime Video people out there, Jack Ryan's a solid one. Definitely hope that comes back for season two. Um, but I wanted to thank everybody for joining us on our Kennedy Space Center adventure, year, year number two. And thanks for everybody for joining our live stream. We did like a good almost hour and a half long live stream earlier today. Um, that was a lot of fun. We're gonna try to do more of those. And uh, before I wake up Sarah and the, the pup to get ready for bed, uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>